We are entering the information age, and the internet is a great place to move tons of information at the speed of light. Every day, people around the globe send or receive about 180 billion emails, according to research from the Radicati Group. And much of it in the United States goes through free email services like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail. If you're not paying for the product, you're not the customer, you're the product itself. In the era of information, privacy has become a luxury that even billionaires like Elon Musk can't always afford. As our lives become increasingly intertwined with the digital world, the quest for privacy has evolved into a pursuit for complete digital invisibility. The challenge? To traverse the expansive universe of the internet, leaving behind no digital footprints, no breadcrumb trails, and no traces of your online existence. This is not merely a test of ordinary privacy measures. This is a journey towards achieving the ultimate cloak of invisibility in the digital age. Let's embark on our mission to invisibility with the foundational building blocks, the protective shield, the first layer of our digital armor. At the core of this shield is the virtual private network or VPN, but not just any VPN will do. When you're stepping into the world of invisibility, you need something that provides absolute anonymity and uncompromising security. This is where Mulvad VPN comes into play. Unlike many of its competitors, Mulvad VPN emphasizes anonymity, going so far as to provide an account number instead of a username to ensure your personal information is never at risk. It implements a stringent no-logs policy, meaning your online activities aren't tracked or stored. Additionally, Mulvad VPN uses robust encryption and secure protocols, cloaking your IP address to provide an anonymous browsing experience. You can even pay anonymously with cash or Bitcoin. The beauty of this protective shield is that it's not just about what people see, it's about what they don't see. Mulvad VPN disguises your digital tracks, making your movements online appear to come from anywhere in the world but your actual location. It's a digital sleight of hand, a trick of the light, the first crucial step in your journey to becoming invisible. But this shield isn't only about VPNs. Equally important are virtual machines, VMs, our second line of defense. VMs serve as your safety nets, your digital decoys in this vast virtual universe. Think of VMs as an OS within your OS, a shield within your shield. Using a VM isolates your activities from your main system. If your virtual machine is compromised, your primary OS remains safe, untouched. Each task you carry out is confined to its own VM, safeguarding against cross-contamination and potential threats. And the best part? If anything goes wrong within a VM, if a threat breaches its defenses, it doesn't impact your primary OS. You simply discard the VM and start anew, leaving no traces behind, no evidence of compromise. It's as if you have an infinite number of lives in this digital game of cat and mouse, adding a solid extra layer to our protective shield. With our protective shield firmly in place, we're ready to delve deeper into the world of digital invisibility. But remember, each step on this journey requires diligence and precision. So gear up, it's time to head further into the digital abyss. Having set our defensive shields, let's navigate the network highways while dodging the ever-watchful eyes of the digital behemoths. We'll need privacy-oriented browsers and search engines, complemented with the ability to alter our digital fingerprint, the MAC address. When it comes to browsers, mainstream choices like Chrome and Edge are out of the question. They are no more than glimmering baits, luring you into a world of compromised privacy. Opt instead for alternatives such as Tor and Brave, the cloaking devices of the browser world. These browsers are a haven for those seeking invisibility online. The Tor browser sends your data through multiple nodes around the globe, each layer peeling off to reveal the next destination but never the final one. It's akin to a high-speed chase through a labyrinth, your digital pursuers lost in a maze of encrypted nodes. On the other hand, Brave offers a different approach, removing the trackers and ads that prey on your data. It provides built-in protection against phishing and malware, along with options for customization and security settings. A robust wall, sturdy against the onslaught of privacy invasions. Now let's move on to search engines. If the browser is your vehicle, then the search engine is your roadmap. But most of these roadmaps, like Google, lead you into traps of data collection and tracking. The alternative? DuckDuckGo. 
It respects your privacy, does not store your personal information, and most importantly, it doesn't track your searches. In the realm of digital invisibility, DuckDuckGo is your guiding compass, pointing you in the right direction while leaving no traces behind. But there's more to the story. Beyond browsers and search engines lies a critical aspect of your device's identity, the MAC address. This unique identifier is like a neon sign in the world of digital surveillance, highlighting your device among the sea of online users. To blur this sign and blend into the crowd, you need MAC address spoofing. With tools like Machanger, you can alter your MAC address, disguising your device every time you connect to the internet. It's like a master of disguise, changing masks between each act, leaving the audience, in this case, trackers and hackers, clueless and scrambling in your elusive shadow. Having slipped on our digital disguises and stepped into our armoured vehicles, it's time to communicate, but not as they expect us to. Strap in, our journey to invisibility is about to get even more intriguing. As we traverse the digital realms, our choice of chariot matters. By that, I mean the operating system, OS. It's the vehicle carrying us across the vast landscapes of the internet, and like any vehicle, it's susceptible to tracking and tampering. That's where secure, privacy-oriented operating systems come into play. While Windows and Mac are the popular choices, they're not the best for our mission. These OS are filled with backdoors, tracking, and often come with the unwanted baggage of data collection. We need something built with the purpose of preserving privacy, a silent submarine in the sea of digital data. Welcome to Tails, an open-source, Linux-based operating system designed for discretion and anonymity. Tails is an acronym for the Amnesic Incognito Live System. It's an OS that forgets. As soon as you shut it down, all your activities are erased, leaving no trace. Imagine it as a self-destruct mechanism, eliminating all evidence of your journey as soon as you're done. Tails also routes all your internet traffic through Tor, adding another layer of anonymity. But what if we need to be invisible even within the walls of Tor? That's where Cube's OS comes in. This high security operating system uses virtual machines, VMs, for every task, segregating them neatly to avoid cross-contamination. If something goes wrong, you discard the VM, not your privacy. And now, we step into a realm that's existed since the time of ancient Greece but has found a unique place in our digital world, steganography. The art of hidden communication, it's all about masking our messages within plain sight. A cat meme to an ordinary user could carry an encrypted message readable only by the intended recipient. It's a digital game of hide-and-seek, and with software like OpenStego or Steghide, you can be the undisputed champion. But as we've seen, the road to invisibility isn't just a straight line. There are bends and curves, each requiring a unique approach. We've talked about how to navigate the internet's highways without leaving a trace. But what about when we need to conduct transactions? Enter the world of cryptocurrencies, an enigma wrapped in the fabric of the internet in our next section. Buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride. With digital invisibility, monetary transactions are like footprints in the snow. A clear, crisp trail leading straight back to you. Luckily, we have a tool to hide our tracks, cryptocurrency. Bitcoin has long been considered the gold standard for online anonymity. It's like a masked ball for your finances. Everyone's there, but no one knows who's who. But let's take it a step further with Monero, a cryptocurrency with stealth at its core. It goes beyond Bitcoin's pseudonymity employing stealth addresses and ring signatures to obscure the sender, recipient and amount of every transaction. It's like taking that masked ball and turning off the lights. Now let's switch gears to something we carry with us every day. RFID chips? They're in our cards, our passports and even our phones. These chips can be scanned, leaking your personal data to anyone with an RFID reader. But don't worry, we've got an ace up our sleeve. RFID blocking wallets. These wallets prevent unwanted scans, keeping your data safely tucked away. Remember, invisibility isn't just digital, it's physical too. And speaking of physical security, let's touch on something that straddles the line between online and offline communication. PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy. It's a data encryption and decryption program that provides cryptographic privacy and authentication for data communication. Sending a secure message is as easy as sealing a letter, you just need the right key. Cryptocurrency, RFID blocking and PGP 
together form an almost impermeable cloak around our digital and physical selves, giving us control over our data and making us invisible to prying eyes. But this is not the end, there's more to explore. In the next section, we'll dive into the world beyond the surface web and look at how to completely disconnect when needed. As we continue our journey to become digitally invisible, we come across an element that almost everyone uses, email. But just sending a simple email can be like shouting your secrets in a crowded room. We need a more discreet channel, a communication line that respects our privacy. Enter ProtonMail and Tutanota, the silent couriers of the digital world. They offer end-to-end -end encryption, which means only you and your recipient can read your emails. It's like having a private chat in a room full of people. And the best part? They don't have access to your emails and they won't sell your soul to advertisers. It's your secret and it stays that way. But anonymity isn't just about not being seen. It's also about reducing reliance on centralized powers that could monitor or control your activities. That brings us to the world of decentralized internet. Imagine an internet where the content is not stored on centralized servers, but distributed across numerous nodes around the world. Welcome to the Interplanetary File System, IPFs. It's a peer-to-peer -peer hypermedia protocol designed to make the web faster, safer, and more open. It's nearly impossible to censor or track, a perfect addition to our invisibility arsenal. And for times when we want to take the decentralization a step further, we can turn to projects like ZeroNet, which creates an entire decentralized network using Bitcoin cryptography and the BitTorrent network. It's the digital equivalent of a community-run town where every resident is both a consumer and a provider. But remember, invisibility doesn't end online. We carry a part of the digital world in our pockets and it's crucial to secure that as well. As we move to our next section, we'll explore how to protect our physical devices and make them invisible in a world that's always pinging for a signal. Stay tuned. We've tiptoed around the edges, but now it's time to delve into the deepest part of the digital ocean, a place known to few, explored by even fewer, the Darknet. It's not just a shady marketplace or a hacker's haven. The Darknet is an invaluable tool for maintaining online anonymity. When navigating these hidden depths, always ensure your submarine, your security measures, are in place. Here you'll find websites ending in .onion, only reachable through the Tor network. This part of the internet is like a labyrinth, a constantly shifting maze of sites that disappear and reappear, leaving no traces. But remember, it's not the place to let your guard down. Always be prepared and always be cautious. Now let's say you need to disconnect entirely to become a digital hermit. That's where the Faraday cage comes in. In the context of our journey, think of a Faraday bag. These special bags can block all signals, inbound and outbound. Slip your device inside and you vanish off the digital grid entirely. It's the perfect tool when you need absolute silence. And lastly, in this section, let's touch on SecureDrop. Journalists, whistleblowers, those who need to share sensitive information securely, they all turn to SecureDrop. It's an open source platform designed to facilitate anonymous information sharing. With SecureDrop, your identity is hidden even from the recipient, giving you a safe and untraceable line of communication. This dark world of hidden networks Signal blocking enclosures and anonymous communication platforms are the deep waters of digital invisibility. But even in these depths, we must maintain our sense of ethics and responsibility. As we draw towards the end of our journey, let's reflect on what it truly means to be invisible online. As we've journeyed through the intricate tunnels of the digital world, it's only fitting we end our voyage with a glance towards the future. Invisibility is an evolving art, and to stay truly hidden, we must adapt with the tides of time. So we arrive at our final destination, the cutting-edge frontier of digital security, quantum cryptography. In the realm of quantum, the laws of physics reign supreme, giving rise to a new breed of security protocols. Quantum cryptography, currently in development, is pioneering a new era of information security. At the core of this technology is a principle known as quantum entanglement, a strange and wonderful phenomenon where entangled particles mirror each other's state instantaneously, 
no matter the distance between them. This opens up new possibilities for encryption. The moment an eavesdropper tries to intercept a quantum encrypted message, the state of the entangled particles changes, alerting the communicators and maintaining the integrity of the transmission. To crack such encryption would require defying the laws of quantum physics, making it nearly impossible with our current understanding and technology. Imagine in the not-so-distant future sending a message that changes its own encryption the moment someone tries to intercept it. Your online activities guarded by the fundamental laws of the universe. That's quantum cryptography. It's still on the horizon, but its potential is beyond imagination. Quantum cryptography represents the peak of our journey into digital invisibility, a world where surveillance becomes obsolete and privacy regains its rightful place. This is a future we can strive for, a world where your online identity is yours and yours alone to control. It's an arduous journey, but it's one worth undertaking for the sake of our digital freedom. In this breathtaking odyssey into the intricate labyrinth of digital anonymity, we have ventured far and wide, traversing the intricate layers of online invisibility, from our initial shield of a robust VPN through Mac spoofing, encrypted email and decentralized internet, all the way to the farthest frontier of quantum cryptography. Yeah.